I've been salivating so much today. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Charlie and the Angel. Charlie and the Angel is a 1973 theatrical release. It stars Fred McMary, Cloris Leachman, and Harry Morgan. It also has Kurt Russell in it, but it is not starring Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell's in like four scenes, if that. So I don't know why he's on the cover of the film, but... Fred McMurray has been in countless Disney films, but he's best known for Double Indemnity, as well as The Absent-Minded Professor, and then My Three Sons on Television. He was the first person to be honored as a Disney legend, which I think is really cool, and he's an Illinois native just like myself. Cloris Leachman was nominated for a Golden Globe for her role in this film. She was in stuff like The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Young Frankenstein, The Beverly Hillbillies, Malcolm in the Middle, and she won an Oscar Best Supporting Actress for her role in The Last Picture Show. I discussed Harry Morgan and his entire history in the Snowball Express video, so if you want to learn about him, be sure to go watch that. Charlie and the Angels, directed by Vincent McEvity, cinematography by Charles F. Wheeler, editing by Ray DeLue and Bob Brinton. It's written by Roswell Rogers, and it's based off a book called The Golden Evenings of Summer by Will Stanton. It is about a man named Charlie who hasn't really lived his life to the fullest. He's visited by his angel, Harry Morgan, named Roy, and is told that he's supposed to die, but he keeps missing the time of his death because people are fighting about whether or not he should get another chance to live his life more fully. This film has an all-star cast, so I expected something really great, and I was very disappointed. While the plot seems intriguing, and it's obviously a little bit inspired by It's a Wonderful Life, it does not have the same impact. I think what killed this film was the dialogue. The dialogue wasn't good, so I think the directing suffered, and the directing suffered, so the acting suffered. And then you get Charlie and the Angel. A very boring, not as high stakes as you would expect film. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but uh, there's a car chase in this film. <laughs> it's definitely the first one we've seen. Definitely. I'm just kidding. It's like the hundredth car chase we've seen. Okay? Okay. That's all I got on Charlie and the Angel because I was not impressed. I was actually very disappointed. I was expecting something so much better than I got and I was expecting something much high caliber than what I got. So I'm a little disappointed. I'm also very confused as to why Kurt Russell is on the cover of this film. Just himself. It's not like he's in the group. If he was in the group that would make sense but just himself. He is not the star of this film. It was very misleading. I thought he was gonna have a very big part and he did not. So uh, it bothers me. Uh, I think I'm gonna give it three angels out of 10. Our total movie count is. <laughs> Parents at Total and Crack Counter is the same. If you wanna keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday. I did start weekly vlogging and then <laughs> I didn't. So um, I'm starting to think maybe I'm just going to vlog when something cool is going on because that's really when I wanna vlog. Um, weekly vlogs, you know, my life isn't that exciting every single week. And sometimes I just don't wanna vlog. So I think I'm just gonna vlog when I'm gonna vlog. So there is a playlist for those. You can go watch them or not. I don't care what you do. I don't rule your life because until next time, comment, like, subscribe. As I said, I don't rule your life. You do you and don't, don't be Kurt Russell on the cover of a film he's not starring in. Do you like my makeup? It's already bleeding. Ugh.